Hi friends, this is Asit Kumar from Mindful Solutions India. So in this tutorial, we'll be basically look into uh, how to set up a Android SDK and the Eclipse for getting started with PhoneGap. Okay. So first of all, we need the Android SDK to be set up in this uh, machine. So first we need to first of all we need the Eclipse ID to develop the phone gap application so for this i will suggest to download the helios pack for the uh, eclipse so you can find this url eclipse.com dot org downloads package then release helios slash service pack 2 okay so over here you can go and download the required uh, version of your Windows or uh, uh, Windows 32 or 64-bit uh, for your requirement. So this is the primary requirement. Next, uh, second requirement is the Android SDK. So for this Android SDK, you can go over developer.android.com, then SDK, then index.html. So over here, you have uh, three options to use the existing ID, which I will prefer to use the Eclipse ID so just go over here and start the download for the sdk and uh, accept their uh, terms and condition and you can start the download the sdk tools for windows so this will make a this will download a zip file and you can uh, extract the content and set the uh, folder to the to a specified location let's say c or d drive so the next step will be after the SDK has been set up, you may require in some application to use the NDK. So it's better if you have already the NDK installed before using the PhoneGap application. So for the NDK, you can go over here, Android uh, developer.android.com, then tools, then SDK, then NDK slash index.html. So over here, you can choose your uh, zip file to download as per your windows version so this is similarly uh, similar to the sdk it's a zip file so you need to extract and uh, uh, put the content either in the c drive or a d drive so later when the sdk has been already uh, downloaded and uh, put the uh, extract the content to some location so you will find there will be two dot exe file one of is the SDK manager and other one will be the ABD manager. So first of all, just open the SDK manager. So let me open it. So it will look something like this. So here uh, the SDK manager contains some of the Android SDK tools and some of the SDK skins or images that used to be shown while opening the ABD. So uh, here you need to uh, select the versions and the skins as per your requirement. And after selecting those things, you can go for the install all the rec uh, selected packages. So after installing the packages, now let's move to the ABD manager. So let me open the ABD. Okay, so this is the ABD manager. As you can see that I have already created some of the AVDs. So for you, I think uh, the list will be blank. So first of all, you need to go for creating a new AVD. So create a new AVD, get some name. Okay, then choose your downloaded uh, SDK uh, version that you have used over the SDK manager. So you can choose over here. Let's say I have chosen the Android 2.3. So these are the some default settings. You can increase the uh, SDK size or add some additional properties over here. Let's say I have set the all, th all things to default one, just creating a AVD. So you can see the new AVD has been already created. So now make it to run. So just click the start button. Okay, then after launching, it's now creating the ABD to launch in your machine just to wait it's yeah now it's started the ABD 
can see okay if you can see it has started the demo avd so this is the avd for that we have already created for using with the phone game or some other cross platform uh, uh, framework to develop the application and run it in the simulator so basically this avd is your simulator so uh, that's it friend so this is the minimum requirement for the phone gap for getting started for developing application over android thank you thank you friends